Hey everyone, my name is Rob and today I just want to do a quick video in that if you are interested in using ChatGPT or any sort of the generative AI chatbot models, but your company has blocked it, you have access to a ChatGPT model via the Microsoft Edge browser or just Microsoft Bing search. So I came across this in my consulting company and at the client that I'm uh, working for that many people are like, yeah, I'd like to use ChatGPT, but my company has blocked it. And the interesting thing is that the ChatGPT capability has been existing in your browser for likely months. And many people aren't really aware of this. So this is just a quick and slick video uh, to demonstrate that if you have the Microsoft Edge browser and most company laptops and most um, yeah, company instances use the Microsoft Edge browser. And if you want to use ChatGPT, use the Microsoft Bing version called Copilot. And all you have to do is just open your Microsoft Edge browser. If you can see my screen, all you have to do is just go to the top right where you see this new fancy button. This is Copilot. So go ahead, click it, and here you have access to ChatGPT. Well, the ChatGPT model uh, that Microsoft is using. And here you can type in anything. For example, please, um, please define what change management is. Go ahead, press enter, and you will have access. See, it will start to, uh, it will start to da da da, and here you go. Brrr. It doesn't make that sound effect, but well, that's fun for me. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it. So you can go ahead, you can uh, yeah click on these different things. It will give you prompts with, okay, can you implement it? Dun, dun. You can say as well, like, um, please put the processes of change management in a table. That's something that I like to do because it you know, makes it a bit more concise. And so here you go. And the cool thing about uh, Copilot is that you can, it will give you output that you can literally edit it in Excel. So just go ahead, click this button, and there you go. Now you will notice, of course, that there is uh, there is a little symbol here. It says two out of 10. That means for your current conversation, you have 10 prompts. Once you're out of those 10 prompts, that's okay. All you have to do is say, click new topic, and you can create a new topic with 10 new prompts. Some organizations, and you'll see some people have access to 30 prompts, all good. And of course, if you want a bit of a bigger window screen, that's fine. If you go to bing.com or just on your Edge home screen, you'll see a more colorful Copilot button. Open that, and here you will have, uh, yeah, you'll have a larger, uh, larger interface. And here as well with Copilot, it's fun. You can say like, draw a picture of a cat. I should have said wearing a tie. That would be cute. Um, so. Da, da, da. It'll ask for you to sign in and then it will create it. Uh, and that's that's it. So a lot of people have been saying like, ah, I would love to use ChatGPT. I'd love to use da, 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 but I just don't have access. And it's been so wild and interesting, like um, showing people, you know, over the last few months, like, yes, you do. It's just hidden in Edge. Or if you go to Bing.com, you have access to it. And the majority, if not, you know, yeah, the majority of organizations that you might work for, etc will grant you access to this because of course the data um, is yeah, the, 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 how do I say this? The, uh, they keep the, the input and that information uh, private. So it's, um, yeah, it follows your organization's privacy rules, which is great. So that is it. That's the short and slick video. Happy ChatGPT, Ian. Um, if you have any questions, any interesting prompt ideas that you want, just put them in the questions um, or reach out to me via LinkedIn uh, and just ask your questions there. Anyways, take care, guys. Have a great afternoon and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.